want to be rich, it is probably a good idea to study rich people and start modeling their actions so that you can replicate their results. No one can actually become rich in isolation. It's either you have an enterprise that creates value, you have investments, or you own assets that yield daily income. Either way, you are ever really alone. You cannot become rich without understanding how those who are currently rich have managed their wealth. This is really because you can have cash and lose it all. If you have learned the principles of wealth, it will really matter. Rich people are actually in categories. A billionaire and a millionaire are certainly not in the same category. In today's video, I'm going to share with you 13 types of rich people. Number 1. Affluent People These are people whose net worth is between $100,000 to $1 million. They live in modest homes, pay their taxes, and can afford to send their children to college anywhere in the world. They typically have excellent credit and stable incomes. They are very comfortable. They can drive good cars and eat at expensive restaurants. They typically live in gated communities and play golf with their neighbors on Sunday. These categories of rich people are not nearly as wealthy as other rich people, but they are comfortable and over a period of time, if they are strategic, they can become more prosperous. Number 2. High Net Worth Individuals High net worth individuals usually have net worth ranging from a million dollars to five million dollars in liquid assets. This really means they can afford a whole lot of things and live a good life. Someone in this category can own an expensive car and live in a mansion. They have to be careful though because of property taxes and entertainment taxes. Taxes are something every rich person must take account of. If you don't, it can suck up all your wealth. A high net worth person can invest up to a million dollars in tax-free treasuries for up to 10 years and be collecting interest from it. If they do this, they can then live on the interest of the assets while looking for more avenues to invest. It is ultimately better to have assets that are easy to liquidate than liquid assets. Number 3. Very High Net Worth Individuals This category of rich people have wealth ranging from $5 million to $30 million. That's a lot of money. If you had $1 million right now, what would you do with it? That's the big question. If you still don't know, you should go back to your drawing board. You can't be rich without a plan unless you win a lottery. But then, how many people win lotteries in a year? Hoping to win a lottery isn't a good plan for getting rich. Very high net worth individuals can own several homes and buy luxuries if they please. They can afford the taxes on their properties and are typically better managers of their resources. Number 4. Billionaires They are rich people with net worth ranging from $1 billion and above. They are incredibly wealthy. According to Market Watch, the world's greatest watchmaker is Roger Smith on the Isle of Man between England and Ireland, and he spends about six months producing each watch. Each of them goes for about $130,000. Rich men in this category can afford luxuries like this and more. It can take a billionaire spending $25,000 daily for 109 years to spend all his money. Wealth is really good, wouldn't you agree? A billionaire can start a foundation, fly first class, or even own an airplane. You can literally do whatever you want. It sometimes makes them act recklessly. Money on its own is always neutral. It merely magnifies whoever you are inside. If you're a good person, money will make you a better person and allow you to help more people. If you're a terrible person, money will only empower you to continue your evil ways on a large scale. Number 5. Millionaires Millionaire rich people are those who essentially aspire to become millionaires as their financial targets. Once they get there, they thrive only hard enough to stay there and nothing more. They desired to be rich. When they did become rich, they simply wanted to stay that way. This type of attitude is not the best, really. But then, who are you to judge? Are you a millionaire? Number 6. Poor Rich People These are rich people who try to spend as much as their money as they can buying stuffs they want. Such people are usually those who got their wealth from inheritance and did not work for it. When you work for something, you value it better. You will treasure the result of your effort. A dollar end is undoubtedly worth more than five pound. In the end, poor rich people end up spending all their fortune and they are back to square one. Why it is so bad is because they are overconfident. They take loans even when they don't need them. 
to buy luxury cars and sell assets prematurely to fund your luxurious lifestyle. Number 7. Free Rich People A free rich person is a rich person who feels fulfilled. He has attained financial freedom and works hard to stay that way. They are typically those who build their wealth from scratch. They derive great pleasure in seeing what they have accomplished and they are often part of communities trying to help others get to where they are. Free rich people are seldom in debt. They live simple lives and take care of their needs. They look out for profitable investments and typically don't have very high risk profiles. Number 8. Lazy Rich People The lazy rich person strives to relax after all his hard work on the way to the top. Unfortunately, money doesn't work that way. You have to continually put it to work. Leaving your money in just one investment and taking a vacation may not be the brightest idea. You can set your money in risk-free treasuries for 10 years and leave off the interest. But even that, it is only for some time. You need to keep thinking of new avenues to maximize your income. That way, you can always earn a lot more even when you are not actively working. After all, the goal of becoming wealthy is to get to a stage where your money can work for you. Number 9. Business-Minded Rich People The business-minded rich person is those who run enterprises and big businesses. Even when they had become billionaires, they still go to work. They enjoy the thrill of building new things and are unlikely to retire simply because they are now wealthy. They are typically wealthy because they are actively working on ways to best manage their wealth daily and still earn money, thereby adding to their wealth. A business-minded rich person is the type of rich person you want to be. Number 10. Charitable Rich Person These categories of rich people are those who love giving out to the needy. They want to use their wealth to better the world. They sometimes run charities or donate frequently. Unlike the poor rich people, they are not squandering their money through giving. They plan to give. They work hard so that they can afford to give often. They value people and typically pay their employees well. They are also an admirable category of rich people. Number 11. Thrifty Rich People The thrifty rich person does not like spending. He can save for a year without flinching. Thrift rich people value their wealth a lot. They want to conserve it as much as possible while it continues to grow. Such rich people end up leaving almost everything for their children. They rarely take vacations, buy luxurious cars or splodge. They live well below their income and have large savings. They may quarrel with their partners over this behavior. Number 12. Investor Rich People The investor rich person does what he knows how best to do. Invest. They are market experts and can tell you almost all the asset classes in existence from experience. They are focused on growing their wealth. Number 13. Stack up rich people. The stack up rich person just wants to have more money. They however keep the money without really investing it. They love seeing their money even if it's not ideal. Rich people are in categories and sometimes have interesting characteristics. On your journey to financial freedom, remember to not become lazy and splodge driven in spending your money. Spending habits that do not help your wealth plan. Rich people often have a lot of money and this makes losing money not as severe as losing money when you don't have enough.